We're a little bit north of Pele's current flow. Uh, we have a beautiful black sand beach down here. And it's a steep hike down and there's no mercy once you get there as you can see. So, uh, it's with all these beaches in Hawaii it's important to know what to do because they're not... It's not like Tahiti where you can kind of go to the beach and just plop out and not worry about it. Here there's tides and there's currents and there's all sorts of wacky waves. And this is not a very large beach so, you know, you could get swept out. So anyway, just a word from the wise and to the wise. Anyway, let's go down. So this is the trail, so if you don't like a steep hike, this isn't your hike. Because uh, it is steep in sections, and this is not a flip-flop kind of hike either. So, uh, you know, but otherwise it's a pretty straightforward thing. continue right through this lava rock. It's all lava rock, see? Everything is lava rock. Everything around is lava rock. Like this looks like the ah uh -uh kind of lava rock. It's much more sharp and jagged. I could consider this a bathtub under certain circumstances. Um, I don't know if today is the day though, but uh, sometimes you have hot pools in these areas because of the volcanic steam vents that come up through and make the water quite warm. But this is not one. Here you got real nice lava sand, nicely ground up. This is almost as fine as white sand, which a lot of places you'll find it a lot coarser. But this black sand is very, very fine. It's basically like white sand, which means the waves here can crunch it pretty good. Big old pandanas, we have coconuts, which you always have to look up to make sure you don't get hit in your head. Big Aito ironwood trees here. And you can hear the coqui frogs are keeping us company, actually. Let's just keep. Might be a worthwhile place to come back to when the sun shines, but you can't always plan life around sunshine because the sun doesn't shine 365 days a year. But it's amazing how lush this volcanic dirt uh, and how nutritious it is as far as plants so, so, so. There's a lot of stuff growing in here. A lot. Like 
You don't normally see all this right up against the beach. That's pretty unusual. We have a little dead pandanus here. From that one. And these actually... These were used as paint brushes in the olden days. The end of the pandanus you could use it to paint with. Quite useful. You might be able to brush your teeth with it, but I'm not going to try. <laughs> We get the cookies pretty good back here. These are all frogs. They almost sound like birds, but they're frogs. And they're not native, and they're invasive. But I still like the sound. And as we've seen through all this volcanic walking around, Noni grows. I mean, Noni seems to, to do quite well here in this volcanic stuff. And Noni, of course, is a, an elixir, a very healthy, nutritious thing that smart people take in capsules or a liquid thing, juice. I've seen one guy eat one, he said it tasted like shit. And he was a person that wouldn't normally use such um, expletive type terminology unless it may, must have really tasted bad, so uh, smelling them is bad enough. I've seen a Tahitian eat a green one and they had no problem, but once they start to ripen, you don't want to go near them. Up top again. Just scrambled up that stuff. I think you can call that a scramble. Yeah. It wasn't that long though. But you don't want to fall on this stuff. That's like not good. Wow. Yeah, it's quite it's quite spectacular what Caleb can do.